Welcome to this channeled forecast for June 12 to 21st. This is a special extended horoscope as I'm going away on vacation until the first day of summer. I'll be back with the remainder of the forecast on June 22nd to finish out the week before returning to the regular weekly schedule. The backdrop of these days is the sextile between Jupiter and Saturn, a rather grounding and stabilizing transit, one which many of us will appreciate after several tumultuous weeks in a row. The waning moon and an almost stationary Saturn might keep moods a little more subdued and introspective until the new moon on June 18, despite the Gemini and Leo energy in the chart. On Thursday, June 15, Saturn and Mercury are exact in their square, giving us a check on our communication and thinking that could feel a little harsh. Ideally, we'll make the best of this by pausing and reflecting before speaking. Something that Mercury in its home sign of Gemini might find challenging though. On Saturday, June 17, Saturn in Pisces stations retrograde until November 4th, pumping the brakes on what we've been building and giving us a chance to reassess what we've done with our goals so far. Are we on track or did we miss something? On Sunday, June 18, the very mercurial new moon in Gemini helps us reflect on how we've been thinking and speaking and what we want to achieve as effective communicators. This lunation will be squared by Neptune, which can be quite disorientating for some, but very inspiring for artists. If you keep both feet on the ground, it can boost creativity and be a perfect vehicle for setting those new moon intentions into motion. On Monday, June 19, we have the exact sextile between Jupiter and Saturn, their first exact aspect since December 20, 2021. We're reminded to be practical and mature while holding on to that Jupiterian optimism and vision in order to reap the many rewards of this reality, both its physical and spiritual blessings. And on Wednesday, June 21st, the sun enters Cancer, heralding the summer solstice and the official start of summer. On Monday, June 12, in the morning, we have a fiery trine between the Aries moon and Mars and Leo. It's time to get going and pursue those goals and dreams. We are still coming off the square between Venus and Jupiter, so passions are high. Don't overdo things, but overall, this day is set for forging ahead with enthusiasm, even if it is a Monday. In the afternoon, the waning moon is conjunct Chiron, allowing for the healing of old wounds and giving us lots of emotional courage to face inner pain and shadows. Moving the body would be a perfect release today. In the evening, the moon is sextile the sun, boosting our mood and the feeling that things are working out as they should. It's easier to feel supported and guided and generally in harmony with the order of the universe. Tuesday, June 13 could be a bit tense to start. The Aries moon is square Pluto, now back in that 29 degrees of Capricorn. We may feel like we're being stifled or constricted by an outside power or unable to express powerful emotions, which could be simmering like anger. Take a moment before reacting and be aware that others could feel very reactive. The moon then goes void of course just before 11.30am before entering Taurus a few minutes later. This exalted moon puts us in a better frame of mind and makes us more inclined to slow down. The moon is conjunct the north node around 5pm, bringing the vision of where we want to go in sight. Feel with your senses what it looks and tastes like to bring it into material reality. Much later in the night, the moon is conjunct Jupiter, expanding feelings of comfort and pleasure in the material world, and possibly a desire to indulge in food, beauty, and what we love to end that day. Just after midnight, if you're still up, the moon is then sextile Saturn, calming our minds and hearts. It's actually a very nice transit if you're a night owl and want to get some work done, helping to stabilize emotions and give the mind more focus. Wednesday, June 14 has some challenging aspects. The start of the day could have us feeling somewhat uneasy, especially about our partners and relationships. The darkening Taurus moon is coming off an overnight square with Venus. Desires could feel like they're not being met. The square between the Taurus moon and Mars and Leo in the afternoon has the potential to be explosive. Be wary of arguments, recklessness and impulsivity. Definitely slow down, drive carefully, and breathe before reacting. Mercury is also building in the square with Saturn, which will be exact tomorrow morning, and Saturn is about to station retrograde in a couple of days. This transit is putting the brakes on our minds and making us reflect on what we've been doing recently. Have our decisions and choices really been smart and for our long-term future? 
this is the time for some sober, mature reflection. Jupiter, which is now in shadow, is building in the sextile to Saturn, which is almost at a standstill. The sextile will be exact on Monday, June 19. We're reminded that with maturity and practical action, we can reap so many rewards, both in physical abundance, but also with spiritual rewards. But we need to slow down, act in integrity, put in the effort, and watch the universe deliver its blessings. Thursday, June 15, we could wake up feeling a bit uneasy. Overnight, the moon was conjunct Uranus, so sleep may have been restless and dreams unsettling. This morning, we have the exact square between Mercury and Saturn just after 9am. Are you acting in ways that are mature and practical? Are the decisions taken recently truly smart and in your long-term best interest? This is a moment of serious reflection. Jupiter and Saturn continue to get ever closer in their sextile. Be practical, honest and mature and abundance will follow. In the afternoon, we have a special minor grand trine between the Taurus moon, Neptune in Pisces and Pluto in Capricorn. The truth of a situation is easier to accept with compassion and wisdom. We can see the role we have also played and possibly get some powerful psychic or intuitive insights. The darkening moon goes void of course just after 6.30pm before entering social but also mental Gemini. Since it is a balsamic moon phase with so much Gemini energy, the sun, moon and mercury here, be careful to not overbrood, obsess or overthink. Find ways to calm but also uplift yourself. For example with a nice bath and some good music. On Friday, June 16, the waning Gemini moon starts the day with a square to Saturn. This can be a bit of a dark, somber and frustrated mood to begin the day, a feeling like something is missing emotionally, which is compounded by the fact that Saturn is almost completely stationary. By noon, there is some relief with a conjunction between the moon and Mercury. Our hearts and minds feel in sync. This is also followed by a sextile between the Moon and Venus. Mercury and Venus will be exact in their sextile tomorrow morning. Relationships flow better in the afternoon and it's easier to express affection both verbally and in kind gestures. Even with a darkening Moon, there is more joy. Mercury is with Aldebaran today, the conjunction exact around 10pm tonight. We want to speak with the highest integrity and truth and this will have us supported in whatever our endeavours may be. Remember to also listen to others, especially with so much Gemini and Leo energy, which could be making us more prone to talking than tuning in. Jupiter and Saturn are getting closer and closer in their sextile, reminding us to be practical, mature and work steadily towards our goals and see how the universe responds with those physical and spiritual gifts. Very late in the night and overnight, the sextile between the balsamic moon and Mars could make for a bit of a restless sleep. Or a pleasant night if you're out and about, though with a darkening moon, energies are likely to favour staying in more. Saturday, June 17 has the lovely sextile between Mercury in Gemini and Venus in Leo, which is exact around 8.30am. Conversations and affection are much more demonstrative and we feel happy to communicate those warm feelings. The waning moon is also a sextile Chiron, making old hurts and wounds easier to process. Saturn stations retrograde at 10.27am today until November 4th. During this time, while retrograde in Pisces, we can ponder and reassess our goals, especially those of a spiritual nature. These next few months will give us lots of opportunity to see if we made the right decisions during the headier and faster moving spring. Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, Saturn retrograde in Pisces, and with Jupiter, Neptune and Venus soon to go retrograde, all this emphasizing that the time to seriously review and reflect is upon us. Jupiter and Saturn continue in their building sextile, showing that commitment to what is of value and aligns with your goals and is acted on in integrity will be rewarded. Then at 9.37pm we have the new moon in Gemini. This is the perfect time to set intentions around the way we communicate and absorb the information around us. With the ruler of this new moon, Mercury, in its home sign of Gemini, it's a potent lunation. We can examine those mental and verbal parts of our lives. Are we good listeners? How's our speaking ability? Are there any areas we want to improve? Neptune is squaring both the moon and the sun, so be wary of getting too melancholy or hard on yourself or, of course, overthinking. It will be very easy to get lost in the mind with such a strong Mercury and Neptune here. Self-examination is good, but don't beat yourself up for any perceived failings. 
Also, avoid using drugs or alcohol since the effects of Neptune can be disorientating enough on their own. This could be a good night to express yourself with something creative, perhaps art, or writing down your feelings, and of course, setting those new moon intentions. The moon goes void, of course, just before 11.30pm, before entering its home sign of Cancer, just before 4am tomorrow. So go to bed and get a solid night's sleep. On Sunday, June 18, on the morning of Father's Day, the moon, which represents the mother, is in its home sign of Cancer. We want to be close to those we love and to nurture and be nurtured. It is sextile the North Node early in the day, letting us feel into the future we want, sensing the physical and emotional comfort we desire and which will guide us that we're on the right path. Mercury is separating from the sextile to Venus, but it is still active. Express your love and affection and enjoy warm communication. The dominant transit today is the square between the Sun and Neptune, which is exact just before 9pm tonight. It can cloud our judgement, especially about ourselves, as if we're being distorted in a funhouse mirror. Reality, and particularly who we are in it, can be deceptive. Drugs and alcohol are not recommended under this transit. However, being creative can be a great outlet. The evening ends with a very nice minor grand trine between the Cancer Moon, Saturn in Pisces, and Jupiter in Taurus. Enjoy the abundant feeling that comes with being with those who feel like home, aware that a quality life takes time, perseverance, and maturity to create. By investing in what is in alignment with your values and showing up even when it's not always easy, you will reap the rewards, and that love and friendship are the greatest treasures. Monday morning, June 19, starts with the exact sextile between Jupiter and Saturn. This is the first major aspect between Jupiter and Saturn since their conjunction at zero degrees of Aquarius on December 21st, 2020, the same degree of Aquarius where Pluto is now. We can achieve great things in our physical and spiritual life when we combine optimism with grounded practicality. Visions can only come into physical being through applied steady action and a level-headed approach. This is a good time to reassess what we've been doing with our goals, since Jupiter is now in the pre-retrograde shadow and Saturn in Pisces just station retrograde until November. Jupiter is the traditional ruler of Pisces, so it gives us Saturn more optimism. Since Saturn is also the Lord of Karma and Pisces is the final sign of the Zodiac, be sure to clear Karma rather than to build more strife for yourself going forward. Act with integrity and maturity to yourself and all you encounter, and the universe will reflect this with abundance. We are still coming off the square between the Sun and Neptune, which was exact last night, so we might feel a bit disorientated, unable to quite get a grip on who we are and feeling a bit foggy. Just like last night, avoid intoxicants and perhaps channel this energy into something creative. In the evening, the Cancer Moon squares Chiron, making us uncomfortably aware of any wounds and insecurities. Later in the night, the Cancer Moon is then sextile Uranus, which can give us some unexpected emotional insights. Stay flexible and be surprised with what you learn. It is Gemini season, and we still have Mercury in Gemini for this week, so ask some questions. Venus has now entered the pre-retrograde shadow at 12 degrees and 12 minutes of Leo, ahead of its July 22nd station retrograde. We'll now start to feel those questions bubbling up around our relationships and values. Is this who I want to be with? Where is this partnership going? Do I value this? Be open to what you find out, but of course don't charge ahead trying to change things overnight. The morning of June 20th and the last day of spring starts off with a dreamy Cancer Moon trying Neptune in Pisces. It's a good time to meditate, be creative, and also keep your senses open for intuitive insights. Around noon and into the early afternoon, the Moon is in opposition to Pluto at those 29 degrees of Capricorn. We might feel compelled to dig around the psyche and motivations of others or ourselves. We're retracing some old ground and unfinished business. There could be truths revealed, but it's usually better to wait till this transit of the moon passes in a few hours before taking action. There's often a strong need to control with the Pluto opposition, which will not fare well. So stay calm and take deep breaths if tensions well up. The moon then goes void, of course, at 2.43pm before entering Leo just after 3pm. Here we feel more playful and exuberant. With the Moon, Venus and Mars all in the sign of the Lion, it's much easier to express our emotions and affection. However, things can get edgy by the evening when the Leo Moon squares the nodes, now at 2 degrees of Taurus and Scorpio. 
we could feel like there's a lack of support, especially emotionally for our goals and dreams, as well as having a niggling fear of the future. Although it is wonderful to have others in our corner, you must also trust in your ability to achieve what you desire by yourself without over-dependence on others. Mercury is building in the sextile to Mars, which is exact tomorrow morning. Our minds are sharper and more decisive. This is an ideal time to be productive, especially if you need to communicate your ideas with some power behind them. It might also be a time where things are said quite abruptly and decisively. Jupiter's sextile Saturn, though separating, giving us support when we are walking that fine line between idealism and mature practical action. On the morning of Wednesday, June 21st, we might start off feeling a little exuberant when the Leo moon squares Jupiter and Taurus. Jupiter is still sextile Saturn, so hopefully helping us to stay more grounded and on an even keel. This morning we have the summer solstice, heralding the start of astronomical summer in the northern hemisphere as the sun enters Cancer at 7.58am. It's time to celebrate the season, which is perfect since the moon is with Venus, filling us with love and all the best feelings. The moon joins Mars later in the overnight hours, a look up at the sky around sundown to see the perfect crescent moon right next to Venus. We also have a powerful sextile triangle between Mercury, Mars and Chiron, energizing us not only to express ourselves and firing up our minds, but also to use our power and intellect to sort through some difficult emotions, especially the traumas and wounds of the past. We can sense that we're not alone in those flaws and weaknesses, and life has so much potential when we accept our imperfections. Overall, this day is a wonderful start to the summer season. I wish you a beautiful week and thank you so much for joining me here. As always, if you enjoy this content, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And please write me a comment below. I truly appreciate you and the kind messages you leave.